We on, we on. What up, Ace Back people? This is a member, uh, uh, member unit I upgraded about maybe eight months ago. But it had the old, all the old relays. So I uh, ripped all the relays out and put this facility explore uh, from Johnson Control. So the customer can control four of the mammoth units by front end, uh, even on the iPad from their house. Uh, <clears throat> I want to make a quick video. Now you can uh, test relays with a nine volt battery. These relays right here, I'm gonna show you how you can get a signal just to check them. Uh, so make sure they operating properly. I got I got two different kinds here. See, this one got a resettable, and this just a like a clear type deal. But you can uh, just put the nine volt battery on here. You see the red light, and you can hear it kind of click on the inside, or at least I can feel it. You can test it. That relay is good. These style right here, just with a nine volt battery. Um, do it with this one also. See, see the green light. You, let's see if you can hear this. You kind of hear it. This little. Relay type deal clicking. That's just an easy way to check these. Sometimes you're gonna run run into these and and uh, you send a signal and they're not closing or you don't think they're closing. This is just a quick way to tell it. Uh, lim uh, eliminate this problem right here. Cause we HVAC technicians, we keep nine volt batteries, you know, in our refrigerant scale, and I keep at least 10 of these on me at all times. So, you can keep it in your tool bag too, just in case you ever have to check these one day. Um. So I'm gonna have to troubleshoot this unit. So the problem that I'm having though, is that compressor is kicking in automatic. So I'm about to troubleshoot and try to find out. It, I think it's a control issue. I don't know if it's, it's not pumping down because solenoid is not lit up. Well, solenoid should be closed and it should pump down. So you, you can either have a bad low pressure switch that is going in the vacuum and it's not shutting it off, or it can be bypassed, or I, I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna turn this blower on real quick. See, when I just called for the blower, that, that relay kicked in. I don't know exactly how much these cost, but I know they sell them at Home Depot. I always keep one of these with you to save you a lot of time before pulling out your meter, just to make sure you got voltage. Well, you know you got voltage turn from no voltage turn green, voltage turn red. I just let you know you got power going through your contact. See that? You you can, you can kind of check fuses like this too. This is my heater right here. If I had a blown fuse, it'd be uh, red right here and green right here. See, I got green right here because my heater is not on. Got red, green. Compressor is on. Should have red on both sides. Blower on should have red on both sides. And sometimes you can uh, you can tell if you're missing a leg or something like that. You can have two reds and a green. You know you you missing a leg because your fuse blow.
But like I say, I gotta troubleshoot this unit and find out why the compressor is not kicking off. I don't have my flashlight, so I gotta move all these tables, open that door to get to the compressor. Just checking on my crypto. Like the mark is down today. I'm gonna buy me some of that Tron. Hopefully it fall to six cents. I'm gonna give me about $200 worth of Tron. Um, Cause Tron is expecting to get to like $7 at the end of the year. I say I'm, a, I'm just holding right now. So. My cylinder, that cylinder is not even open. The compressor should not turn on without the cylinder though. They call it, that's an overload on that uh, cylinder reduction that's my overload relay this is cylinder valve right here this should be open okay you hear that uh, compressor because now I got refrigerant flowing through there My leaving that temperature should start dropping too. Say low suction is off. So I don't think that low, uh, low suction pressure switch working. I need to check that. When they, if that solenoid is not opening up, that, when that unit starts going into a vacuum, it should shut the compressor off. So, like, Have temperatures. These are all my uh, these are bin binary outputs. These are reading the value like return air temperature. These are my heaters, compressor, fan. These are relays. Cylinder, unloader. Looking for my low pressure switch. I think this low pressure switch right here. So I'm gonna get a meter and see if that's open or closed. Check continuity on that. If it opened up, it should turn the compressor off.
switch is closed. So what I'm gonna do is take the solenoids out and uh, that, that switch should open up. This, uh, my, I don't know why they call it a reduction solenoid, but it's the unloader. I'm gonna take that out first. And find a solenoid. Solenoid valve, turn it off. Okay. Now that switch should open up. Still closed. Give it a second. I need, really need to, uh, but I hear it trying to crank and compress it, click off. Okay, oh well, see that? So, that low, or if you can see that or not, that, uh, Low press switch did open up, but my compressor is still running. 